Hello, T. Good afternoon. Uh, good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm fine too. Okay. Well, so how was your day today, T? Um, I at home. You are? I say at home. Oh, you stayed at home. Very good. Um, well, did you study um, online school today? No, because no? it's uh, summer. Uh, because it's summer. Well, because you know what? Some of my students have online class. Still got to learn through online even though it's their vacation in summer. Okay, so what did you do today? I watching TV and play with my sister. Oh, you played with your sister and watched TV. Okay, so are you happy? Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, how about um, what they call this one? How was the weather today? It's sunny. It's sunny, yes. Here also, it's very, very hot. How about there? It's hot too. It's really hot, right? Yes. Okay, well, um, yeah, it's very hot today here in the Philippines because it's already summer. So when it's summer, it's very, very hot. Yes. Yeah, okay. I hope there will be a rain soon. So that it will refresh in the weather, okay? So for tonight, okay. we're going to have a new lesson to learn, okay? Okay. Let's start now. Oh, wait. Did I give you homework? Um, no. I uh, know. Okay. So let's see. What do we have for tonight? Okay, our lesson for tonight is Unit 35, What a Morning. So we're going to talk about the activities that we do every morning. Okay, now T, look at this one. So what is the first picture? It's a breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, let me ask you T. What time do you eat your breakfast? Um, it's six o'clock. Six o'clock. So and even a uh, what? It's uh, six thirty. It's six thirty. Okay. Well, even well, if you are not going to school, do you still wake up at that time? No. At what time do you wake up? It's seven o'clock. It's seven o'clock. And then what time do you have your breakfast? I have breakfast in um, 6.35. In 6, 6.35? Yes. Okay, very good. So now, and then what do you eat for breakfast? Um, I eat noodle, um, egg, mm -hmm. noodle, egg, um, bread, and some hot dog. And some hot dogs. Okay, well, for me, on breakfast, I like eating rice, egg, and hot dogs. That is the that is my favorite kind of breakfast every day. And also, we have this in the Philippines. We have a dried fish. We call it toyo, and it's very salty. That's why it's very nice when you have to eat it on rice. And you have to dip it with vinegar and chili. 
Okay, well, okay. that is very delicious. Okay, now let's go on to the next picture. What is it? Tea? It's dinner. Okay, it's dinner. So usually tea, what time do you drink? At uh, what time do you eat your dinner with your family? It's uh, 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock. 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock at night. Well, here in the Philippines, we have dinner at, I think, 7 or 8 p.m. Okay, next one. And then, and then I want to know, T, does Vietnamese eat rice for dinner also? Yes. Oh, very good. And then, um, what do you, what is your favorite food for dinner? Um, eat chicken. Chicken. Wow. Is that fried chicken? No. Oh, what is it? Um... It's uh, the same fried chicken. Oh, it's like a fried chicken. Well, that is my favorite um, food also, fried chicken. Okay, how about lunch? Let's go to lunch. So when you are going to school, T, what, where do you eat your lunch? It's my class. In your class, in your school? Yes. Okay, what um what time do you eat your lunch at school? I eat um ten o'clock. You eat at ten o'clock. Oh, that's very early. Well, our lunch in the Philippines usually is twelve. Oh, it's twelve in the afternoon up to one in the afternoon. That is how Filipinos eat. And then, um, okay, what do you eat for lunch at school? Um, I eat um, egg, pork, beef, uh, chicken, vegetable, soup, Mm, rice, noodle, um, is many food. Oh, many food. Okay, well, um, what is your favorite food to eat for lunch, T? It's pork. Pork? Yes. Oh, very good. Okay, well, me, I like eating, well, I also eat, I also want to eat pork for lunch and dinner. How about in Vietnam, T, I want to know, does Vietnamese eat rice also for lunch? Yes. Okay, very good. So next one, T, let's talk about supper. So what time do you eat your supper? Um, eat. Two, mm, two fifteen o'clock in the morning. Oh, okay. Well, I think that is that is afternoon snack, right? Yes. Yeah, because here, um, well, we call it supper here in the Philippines when we eat dinner very early at I think it's five. In the afternoon, we call it supper. Okay, next one, T, is? is get up and wake up. Okay, it's get up and wake up. All right. Um, okay, so, so now, T, what time do you usually get up in the morning? Um, I get up at... Uh, Seven, uh, seven, thirty. Seven thirty. Okay, and then what time do you get up? 
I get up a seven five. Seven thirty-five. Seven thirty-five. Okay. So okay. So let's talk about late tea. When you go to school, have you tried going late on your class? Um, sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, why? Why are you late? Because um, get up late. Are you get up late? So does your teacher get mad at you? No. Oh, no. Very good. So what time is your latest time that you went to school? It's um, 7.50. 7.15. Okay, wait a minute, T. Wait for me, please. Okay, let's continue. Okay, now T, let's answer letter A. Choose the correct words and then write them on the lines, okay? So look at the pictures now, T. How many pictures are there? Um, A. A. It's eight. Okay, can you read the names of the pictures, please? It's a cup, breakfast, a bus stop, homework, play, a shower, a class, there. Okay, so there's a cup, breakfast, a bus stop, homework, places, a shower, a classroom, and stairs. Okay, now T, we have here some example. Children sit at desk and, le and learn in this place. So the answer is a classroom, okay? How about number one, T? Read an answer, please. Okay. You can walk up or down there inside your home. It's there. Okay. It's there. It's number two. Wait here and then a driver takes you to town. It's a bus stop. It's a bus stop. All right. Number four. People eat this in the morning. This is lunch. It's a breakfast. Okay. It's breakfast. Number four. You stand in this and wash your body. It's a shower. A shower, number five. You put hot coffee in this when you pick it up and drink from it. It's a cup. It's a cup. And last one, number eight. You can buy, you can buy a map on the internet to find this. It's planned. It's place or places is correct. Okay, very good, T. So you got a perfect score of, oh, wait a minute. I cannot write it. Okay, so you got a score of 
six points. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Okay, next one, T. Okay, can you read the sentences here, please? Wait a minute, it's letter B. Look at the pictures and tell the story of Penn's terrible school morning. Okay, look at this picture, T. This is a story. It's called Ben's Terrible School Morning. Okay, so the first part is he looks at the clock and thinks, oh no, I must get up and go to school. So that is picture number one. Okay, now T, you have to tell, you have to tell the story. Picture two is Ben's Terrible School Morning. Again, 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 he was? He was in the from to the bus stop, but he laid the bus to the school. Okay, very good. Next. He was, he was to, he was to school, but it red and it wet. But he is wet. Okay, next. Um, then he uh, go to class and the teacher is and the teacher is what? Is I don't know. And the teacher was looking at him, right? What I what do you, uh, what do you think is the teacher telling Ben? Uh, you are late. You, yeah, so the teacher is telling Ben, you are late and why are you wet, right? Okay, so like, let's look at this one now. Is Ben at home now, T? Yes. Oh, where is where is Ben now? Are are you sure that he's at home? No. Oh, where is he? Ben in the class. In the class. Okay, is he on the bus? No. It's no. Okay, why? Why do you say no? Hey. Because he is? Hey. He was late. Are his friends on the bus? Yes. Okay, yes. Has he got his school bag with him? No. No. Okay. Has he got a coat on? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Are you sure he's got a coat on? Mm, I think it's a jumper. Well, I think that is their uniform. Okay. Next one, T. What is Ben doing now? Um, he stand next to the teacher. He's standing in front of the classroom beside his teacher. So what is the weather like? It's rainy. It's rainy, yes. Is Ben happy? No. Why not? Because he is late. Because he is late. Okay, where is Ben now? Um, ben is under the rain. Yes, he is under the rain. Is his teacher happy, T? No. No, why do you say no? 
because man is late. Because he is? It's late. He is late. Okay, that's correct. Okay, now T, read the sentences that Ben wrote in his diary about his terrible morning. Okay, now T, I want you to draw a line going to the sentence and going to the correct picture about it, okay? So okay. as you can see, we have here some sentences and then you have to connect them going to the picture. That. Okay, so you're going to draw a line from the picture going to the correct sentences that explains about the picture, okay? Okay. I don't know to write. I don't know how to write a letter. Uh, yes. You don't know how to draw a line? Yes. Oh, why not? Because I uh, not understand. Okay, for example here, T, I will give you an example. Okay, example, I got, I got to school, but my teacher was angry when she saw me. You're going to draw a line like this, okay? Okay. Okay, let's try. Don't worry. I will tell you if that's wrong. It's finished. It's finished. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I got to school, but my teacher was angry when she saw me. So that was my answer. Next. I didn't have a shower. I put my clothes on quickly. I don't have breakfast. Okay, wait. What a terrible morning. Every day I wake up at 7 o'clock, but today I woke up at 8 o'clock. Okay, that's correct. She wasn't happy because... Oh, wait. I will put a tick. Okie dokie. Okay, here. 
This is the example. I didn't have a shower. I put my clothes on quickly. I didn't have breakfast. Okay, this is wrong. What a terrible morning. Every day I wake up at 7 o'clock, but today I woke up at 8 o'clock. That's correct. She wasn't happy because I didn't have any books or homework. Correct. I ran out of the house, but I didn't take my coat. I didn't say goodbye to my parents. I ran to the bus stop, but I couldn't catch the bus. I saw it, but it didn't stop. I was very tired and my feet hurt. All my friends were on the bus. I had to walk to school in the rain. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points, T. Very good. Okay, now let's proceed here. Okay, so these are the correct answers in this to make the story about Ben's terrible morning. Okay, let's wait for it. Okay, now T, can you read it, please? Start with the first one. What is what a terrible morning? Very day I went up at seven o'clock, but today I woke I woke up at eight o'clock. I did have a shower, but my clothes on quickly. I did have breakfast. I ran out of the house, but I did take my coat. I did say goodbye to my parents. I ran to the bus stop, but I could could catch the bus. I saw it, but it did stop. All my friends were on the bus. I had to walk to school in the rain. I was very tired and my feet hurt. I got to school, but my teacher was angry and she saw me. She was happy because I didn't have any book for homework. Okay, that is correct. Okay, so now T, let's move on to letter C. Read about the things that we do every day. Complete the sentence about Ben's morning. Okay, now T, look at this one. Okay, now you're going to complete the sentences and then you can get your answers from the left side, okay? For example, every day we wake up. So in Ben's side, Ben woke up late. So you just have to use the word similar to this one, okay? Example, this one. We wake up, Ben woke up late. A next one, example again. Okay. So the next one is we get up and we have a shower. Okay, now how about Ben? So it must be on the past tense, T. Um, ben wake up, but he, um, Uh, don't have, don't have a shower. Okay, what is your word, Ben? Ben. Oh, what is the past tense of get? Can you repeat that? What is the past tense of get? So, wake is woke. How about get? Um... What's the past? I don't know. Okay, here. So the the word is wake, and then the past tense of wake is woke. So in get, the past tense of get is got. Okay. Next one. Okay. But he. But he don't have a shower. Okay, didn't have. Next. We put on our school clothes and have breakfast. Mm hmm. Ben don't um Ben don't put um 
Uh, what did Ben do in his school clothes? Ben put on his school clothes. But he does have breakfast. Okay, so your answer is put. Yes, that's correct. Ben put on his school clothes, but he... But he does have breakfast. Okay, but he don't have or didn't have breakfast. Next. We put all our school things in our school bag. How about Ben? Ben, this book, this in put all his school things in his school bag. Okay, didn't put is correct. Next one, number four. We put on our call and say goodbye to your to our parents. Mm -hmm. Ben did put Ben did put on his call and he did goodbye to his parents. Okay. Didn't put. Next one. He on his call and he did say to his parents. Oh, what is it? Number five. Off the house and we and went out of the house, but he. On the bus. But he? But he did catch the bus. He didn't catch the bus. Okay, next one. We get on the bus. Then did, did get on the bus. Are you sure we get? What's the past tense of get? Mm. He, What is the past got. tense of got? Okay. Oh, hey, it's um. Well, get is all also included here, but it must be got. Next one. We go into the class, and our teacher is happy with us. Then, uh, go in. Into oh, the class. what is what is the past tense of go? When it's when okay. Next one into the class, but it's happy. Okay, is not or was not happy. Okay, let's put on a tick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven points for UT. Well done. Okay, now let's continue to letter D. Complete next story, write one word on each line, okay? So, um, I'm going to play an audio now, here, um, T. And then you must complete the story, okay? Okay. Okay, so this is Nick. He's in Ben's class. Next morning was very different to Ben's terrible morning. 35D. What a morning. Complete Nick's story. Write one word on each line. One. I woke up, then I got up. Two. I put on my clothes. Three. I got on the bus. Four. I went into the classroom.
Okay. So now. Okay. Okay. You can write your answer on the paper first. Okay. Okay. Thirty-five D. What a morning! Complete Nick's story. Write one word on each line. One. I woke up, then I got up. Two. I put on my clothes. Three. I got on the bus. Four. I went into the classroom. Okay, wait. All right. Well, you're just going to complete the story about what you have listened, okay? So we have here an example. I got up and I had a shower. Okay, let's try number two, T. Okay. Okay, tell me if you're finished. Finish. Okay, now let's see. Can you read it, T? I will check it. I got up and I had a shower. I put on my clothes and went downstairs to the kitchen. I had breakfast with my family. When I got I got my coat from the hand cupboard. I said oh, wait, wait a minute, T, wait a minute, somebody's outside. Wait for me. Okay, 
Okay, again, again, where are you now? Um, I say goodbye to my parents and then I go out of the house. I walk to the bus stop and I went the bus to school. I go down on the bus and laugh and talk with my friends. When I go into classroom, the teacher were very happy because I had all my books and homework then come into the class. He were wet. The teacher wasn't happy with me because he didn't have any book or homework. Okay, very good. So you were able to get five correct answers here, okay? Say that is that must be said. Go must be went, okay? All right, so that's all for tonight, T. Oh, wait a minute, let me see if we have a homework here. Okay, wait a minute, I will erase it. Okay, this is your homework. Oh. Oh, wait, I will just take a picture of it, T, and send it on your mom's Zalo, okay? Okay. All right, so that's all for tonight. See you again on Thursday. Okay. Goodbye, T. Goodbye, teacher.